Last day here in the US and I'm already packed. Medyo <laughs> over baggage to naman tayo. Uh, I think kinilo ko yung bag ko mabot sa mga 12 kilos so hanggang 10 kilos lang yung ating carry on. But tingnan na lang natin kung paano natin gagawin ng paraan mamaya pagka if ever lang naman. And ang flight natin is at 7 o'clock in the morning. And so all in all 26 hours yung travel time. Hopefully everything works well. And yeah, uh, I feel a bit sad na I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna leave but that's how it is. Let's go. After my six months stay in the US, time na para bumalik ng Pilipinas. My I-94, which I got when I entered the U.S. state, state that I would need to leave the country by July 7. With enough weeks allotted if ever na magkaroon ng cancellation or mamubang flight put for today, which is June 20, 2022. For information, Form I-94 is the Department of Homeland Security record issued to aliens who are admitted in the U.S. You will need to know the state if you are planning to stay longer or change your status. So, pwede ka mag Electronic, electronic, check bag. Medyo late na ako and we didn't expect the bulk number of travelers at the airport. Grabe lang, kinakabahan ako while I'm on the line. Dahil sobrang bagal ng andar and I don't want to miss this flight. Sorry. Dallas. Dallas. Is that you, sir? Flight 2274 to Dallas. Is that you, sir? Yes or no? That would be... Yep. Buti na lang, there was a line that opened and prioritized the flights heading to Dallas, Texas, which is luckily my flight. Buti na lang, bigla na lang nag-open ng ano, ng isang... Thank God for this one. After kumpumila, I left my luggage at the baggage drop area and then head straight to aking designated gate. I was rushing. For in a few minutes, magsisimula na ang boarding. Tapos na tayo with the immigration and we're heading to Dallas. Last minute, late tayo dumating. Boarding time ko guys is 6.25. And so... Ah, nakares pa tayo. At least, di ba? After more than two hours of flight, we landed safe at Dallas, Texas. I will need to ride the train to transfer to my assigned gate. Hi guys, so we're riding the train. Napakalaki ng airport dito and di ko inaasahan na it will take me some time to reach my gate. to wait around 3 hours here before my next flight heading to Narita Airport. So for now, kain muna tayo. Ayun na nga, nandito tayo ngayon sa uh, Dallas, Texas. Yeah. And we're, we're just waiting for our flight uh, in about 2 or 3 hours now. Okay. So alas 6 pa lang ng umaga. So we still have 2 more hours left. So, bigyan ko lang kayo idea ko na yung mga kinakailangan ninyo if ever magagamit kayo from especially sa lahat mga OFWs or sa lahat ng mga kababayan natin who's planning to go back to the Philippines uh, mayroon kasi na you don't need to have uh, RT-PCR test when you go back to the Philippines but here are the things that you will need it uh, so, ang mga kinakailangan natin, of course, is our itinerary or yung ating ticket. And once na ako kasi connecting flight ako, so ang connecting flight ko is from Norfolk to uh, Dallas, then Dallas to Narita, then Narita to Tokyo. So, all in all, that's around 26 hours of, uh, of flights, so more than a day. Uh, darating ako ng Pilipinas on the next day na. Uh, before kayo, before ng inyong flight, kinakailangan mo na magkakwari na ng 
number one is yung One Health Pass. So, you can actually check out yung link down below para makita nyo kung saan uh, na-acquire yung One Health Pass. You just need to get a barcode. And you need to register and you should have a barcode that you've already registered on One Health Pass. Yeah. So, ipapakita nyo yun sa mga boarding gates kung papasok na kayo na plan. So, kailangan na pare dito. Uh, no need for, to, for print out. Pwede nyo na makikita by a phone yung One Health Pass. Next natin is, of course, kinakailangan din natin na uh, vaccination card. So, dito naging useful yung ating uh, yellow card. Ayan, nakinuha natin. Uh, kailangan meron kang at least uh, kumpleto yung dalawang dose mo ng vaccine and isang booster shot. So, kung hindi pa kayo nagpapabooster, so importante na meron kayong booster shot. So, kailangan at least tatlong vaccine yung meron kayo. Yung booster shot ko was like six months ago. So, medyo paso na siya, but still, it's uh, it's still okay. Ayan, uh, i-accredit pa rin na yan, as long as meron ka ng booster shot. Uh, yan, once uh, you arrive here, before ka pumasok ng, uh, before sumakay na, kasi connecting flight nga, before sumakay ng Tokyo, may nang aeroplano going to Tokyo, kailangan mo munang i-clear yung lahat ng mga documents mo and tatatakan nila yung ticket mo na uh, DFW documentation so okay, yung red na nagpagay so pakita ko na lang yun. so ayan yung tatak nila na ilalagay sa uh, ticket mo okay, so uh, dito sa Amerika, no need to wear a mask but of course, depende pa rin yun if you really like to wear a mask uh, but uh, hindi nila ito then they demand for you to do so. So you can actually uh, wear it or not, even uh, inside the plane. Pero ako, I, I brought a mask just to make sure, di ba? Kasi pabalik tayo ng Pilipinas. I hope that information is helpful sa inyo. And nagutom tayo, kaya next 7-11 na yung tayo. Here tayo na, nakilamutan yung tawag dito, parang takito. Ayan, takito. So para siyang pizza na naka-roll, this is parang $199. So, all in all, $646 ng magasas ko, which is not bad. Just a recap, for a Filipino traveler going back to the Philippines, as of this time of vlogging, you would need to have the following. One health pass QR code created a day before the flight, COVID booster shots, a total of three vaccination or more, flight itinerary and ticket. Time na para sa ating flight papuntang Japan. Medyo excited ang kumain ng ramen at curry. Sana, bukas na mga stores. My flight from Dallas to Narita, Tokyo was around 16 hours. And I arrived the next day at 3 in the afternoon. Touchdown, Japan! <laughs> Japan tayo guys. Unfortunately, due to the pandemic, hindi pa din nagbubukas sa mga stores in this side of Narita Airport. As you can see, I require dito na mag-suot ng fake mask. And medyo natagalan tayo dun sa merong ano, eh, transport station na nilagay sila. Parang screening terminal siya ng mga magta-transfer sa international flight. Uh, unfortunately, may delay ng one hour yung flight natin today. So, We'll be spending more time here in Tokyo. <laughs> Excited ako mag-rami eh. Kaya alam, alam yung, yung ano ko, oh, anong tawag dito? Yung body clock ko oh, is madaling araw na ngayon. So dapat natutulog na tayo. Anyway, let's find the CR dahil kihingihin na ako. <laughs> Someone need to teach me how to use this. <laughs> Diba? Kailangan mo magbasa ng manual. Meron pa silang light flash, may flash, stop, rear. Ang nice na merong braille, diba? Hand sanitizing. Sa palalabas yung... After 3 hours of waiting, tayo na para lumipad papuntang Manila. The flight will take less than 5 hours. So expectedly, I'll be in Manila at around 10 p.m. So, 
So, pag land mo guys, pag land mo guys, check nila yung one health pass, and then yung passport, tsaka yung ticket, lalagyan nila ng home quarantine or ano mga quarantine type ang lalagyan nila dito. So, delayed flight kami guys. Uh, nakarating ako dito sa Manila ng 11 o'clock na. So, buti na lang yung brother, brother ko na sila ba sa nag-aantay. So, kwento ko lang din yung pagbaba namin ng aeroplano, syempre dapat nakaready yung immigration paper natin. Yung pinipila pa nyon uh, sa, sa aeroplano pa lang. Once na sumakay ka uh, ng plane, bibigyan ka ng form ng mga flight and bags and we just need to fill it up. Tapos, uh, yung first uh, screening na dinaanan ko is yung presentation ng One Health Pass. So, I didn't know that One Health Pass pa rin. Meron palang express lane. Meron, parang nahati sa tatlo eh. Merong isa dire-direcho, may express lane, tapos merong uh, parang group or something. Hindi ko alam kung ano yung isang, isang portion yun. Uh, nandun ako sa express lane. Tapos after ko nung napakita yung One Health Pass, hindi ko alam rin kung paano nagiging yung express lane or something. Uh, tinatakan lang yung uh, ticket ko na home quarantine for 7 days. So, required yun. Uh, tapos, after nun, is diretsyo na sa immigration where you need to present uh, the papers, <coughs> the papers, <laughs> at saka yung passport. Tatakan lang nila na uh, ng entry. Ayan. So, yun lang naman. Tapos, after nun, uh, diretsyo na dito sa uh, baggage shop. So, I'm still waiting for my bag. So, dalawang bag yung inaantay natin. So, hopefully, nandito na siya sa next bus na dumadaan. I hope with this vlog, you got an idea already on what to do on your way back home to the Philippines. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel and put a thumbs up on this video. Let me know in the comment section down below if you got some vlog ideas you would want me to do in the future. Until our next trip, this is Snug Dug in the City. Hasta pronto! Uh, I hope you enjoy my US trip. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sad na dahil malik na ako Pilipinas so back to ano tayo, reality tayo. But anyway, uh, life continues. Kaya sa mga snow, nag-a-sign, bye!